Hello investor and trader, welcome back to another video. Well, right now it's earnings season, so a lot of stocks are making crazy moves, rather to the upside or to the downside. Well, in this video, I want to share you guys my idea and my perspective, how I trade these stocks when it comes to earnings. There's only three things you can do when it comes to earnings, okay? Well, first of all, I will make a disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor or claim to be a stock guru. I'm just a random guy on YouTube that likes to trade stocks and invest in the stock market. <laughs> so take my opinion as a grain of salt or give, at least give you a, an idea of a different perspective. Okay. All right. The first thing you can do when it comes to earning is play before earning, meaning buy the stock before earning because most of the time, especially tech stock, tend to rally up prior to the day of earnings. For example, AMD. As you can see right here, right, starting October 1st, the stock rally up more than 20%. Today is earning. Another stock I can give an example is LMNT. As you can see, right prior to earning, which is today, right, it rally up, which is pretty good, right, up pretty good right here, like over 10%. And then earning comes. Another stock I can give you an example is INTC. As you can see, same scenario, a rally up prior to earning. Hopefully you guys under, get, an, uh, get an idea now that yes, most of the time the stock tends to rally up. So how do you know when to buy? Well, you buy when the stock either a key level of support, RSI stochastic is low, couple of weeks before earnings because that's what, that's what the stock tends to do. Another one is Amazon. Just look at this stock, right? Rally up, you see, stochastic is low, couple of weeks before earning, earning is in two days. So you can see it rally up. That's, and then you sell right before earnings or the day before earnings. Because if you hold through earnings, that's, a, that's the second option you can do is, right? Hold through earnings. That, my friend, is considered gambling. Yeah, gambling. Because you don't know what the stock going to do. You, have you ever experienced when you buy a stock, right, that you think it does well? And it does does well. Stock of uh, the company released the numbers plus the guidance for next year or whatever, next quarter, and it is phenomenal. But guess what? The stock tanked 10, 15%. Vice versa. Sometimes the stock, right, p p give out lousy numbers and lousy guidance. Oh, yeah, they're going to be short, like, you know, 10% of next quarter or whatever. The stock gap up <laughs> 10, 15%, right? Have that happened to you before? It sure happened to me before. That's the second option is gamble through earnings. The third option, which is the safest option and for my honest opinion, that's why you've been seeing my other video, how I cash a falling knife, because I play the reaction now. I don't go through the earnings no more, which I used to do. You play the reaction. Now, I want to show you guys this infamous first five-figure loss on how, I, how not to trade on first major red days on earnings. This is going to be a very big decision because... I am down 12,000. My five figure loss, first time in three years of trading almost. If I don't sell it, this stock has potential to drop another $10. If it does drop another $10, I'll down another 10,000 because I have 1,000 10, shares. So cut my losses, I'll get it back. So, so you can see in the video, right? This was back in July 2017. So let's go to DPZ real quick. Again, this is old footage, but I recorded for a reason because that was my very, very first five-figure loss after three years of trading. My account size back then was around a quarter million. So pretty much I went all in and I was a college student, you know? So that loss was a pretty big loss for me. And hey, it's a very good lesson. So these big losses is also a very good lesson. So that's why I'm going to share with you guys, not to repeat my loss or repeat my sh my mistake, right? So earnings right here on Domino's Pizza. The stock went, oh, wrong one, wrong date, hold on, 2019. I'm sorry about that. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Make sure everything is correct, lined up right here. <laughs> it's right here. There we go. All right. So it was July. You can see the date is right here. So I got very excited catching that damn knife. Stock's on discount, right? But no. So the stock went from 220 or two whatever, 210, dropped all the way down to 190. I got so excited, I jumped in at 194, full size, 
1,000 shares, which is a dumb idea, by the way. Don't do that. And then the next day, guess what happened? Continue to the downside, right? And the next day, what happened? Continue to the downside. I can see the, on the video, it was a 27, I think. Pass for a little bit. I even record the date just to show, do not repeat this stupid mistake. Well, for me, you know, for me, because I, I don't want to make a mistake. Not, not you guys, right? See? 9 a.m. Damn. So let's go back to here. So it was right here. I caught the knife somewhere right here. And I hold throughout the entire day right here. At one point, I was breaking even. You see right there? I was breaking even. But no, I want to make a profit. And I want to make a good profit too, right? But nope, it bounced up. Bam, to the downside. No more to the downside. So what's the whole idea here? Well, the, the takeaway is on first major red days, doesn't matter what company it is, fundamentally or, you know, yeah, pretty much strong fundamental, the stock still can rally down. So you have to be very, very patient. If you do decide to jump in on the first major red days, make sure you jump in small size. Do not do what I did. I jump in full size right here. <laughs> no wonder I'll pay for the damn price. But guess what happened? It continues to the downside. At that point, or that, at that point in time, I didn't know how to catch a falling knife like as I do today, right? Now I'm more better at it because, you know, over years experience. As you can see, it rallied up after I sold it, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So let's look at some more example. WW, Miss Oprah Winfrey stock. Uh, the weight loss stock. <laughs> so you can see right here, right? First major gap down. And now let's say you you're a fan of this, you are a fan of this stock or a fan of Oprah or whatever. You decide, oh my goodness, I can buy it from a $30 stock, now a $20 stock or a $25 stock, whatever. I decide to jump in, right? Example, okay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't buy this stock by the way, just give an example. Look what happened. Da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 right more to the downside so whoever bought it here the first red day or, or down the shithole right now right because it went from 24 down to 17 that's another huge 15 20 percent discount <laughs> let's do another example there's so many example it's all the same pattern snapchat a couple days ago right this this the stock tank all the way 20 percent 30 percent at one point look it's still i think it still can go more down you see The infamous Amazon. Remember last quarter earning? Now, if Amazon has a very strong fundamental, right? Look, guess what happened? First major red day, boom, down to here. And then down to the downside. You see what I mean? To maximize your profit, whether from an investing standpoint or from a trading standpoint, you want to buy as low as possible, right? And that means you want to wait for another couple of days, a couple of weeks prior to er after earning, after earning, to see the reaction. Normally, it, the stocks still tend to go down, but here's a good thing about gap. 90 plus percent of the time, the gap will fill eventually. Hence the word eventually. It could be next quarter, next, next quarter, or next, next, next quarter, right? <laughs> Sometimes the stocks don't, don't even fill in the gap, for example. My friend lost pretty good money on this law. He lost a pretty good amount. For his account size <laughs> see huge gap down back in the 80s 70s and right now it still has not recovered and he's been holding all these time he was down pretty huge too he just couldn't take the loss even right now the stock still has not recovered to that point the gap has not filled yet you see what i mean so that can happen so just be aware of that so how do you trade these stocks right again from for me for me right is to play the reaction, which you saw in my previous video, right? Um, how I catch a falling knife. The whole idea is on the day of earning, especially gap down, major gap down, 10%, 15% gap down on, ma on regular blue chips, just let it fall. Do not catch it. Because if you do catch it, make sure you go in small size from a trading perspective or from an investing perspective too, right? Facebook, gap up. Uh, no, pop up and then slowly, slowly fade. You see, all these right here are bull traps. So, Facebook on the daily right now, uh, as I'm recording this, which candle is bigger, this candle or this candle in terms of body size right here? Obviously, this candle, right? What does that tell you? I think this stock still can go more down. I'm looking at $300 level and $280 level. 
right here. So right now it's land on the weekly, weekly right here, 50 EMA, barely land on, on it, right? I still think it could go down to here or even to the 300. Be patient and wait. Another one I can give you guys an example is Zoom. Check out Zoom on my previous video about, I think like a couple months ago, major gap down right here. Still in the gap, still in the gap, still continues the downside, right? So I rather buy, I rather buy a 250 than a, a 290, right? For those that first buy a major first red days, you see what I mean? LMNT today, huge gap down from 370, 380, all the way down to 325 at one point. Now, LMNT, I did buy some shares today around 335. Now. About one third size, one third. Because remember, I learned my lesson, right? I learned this lesson right here. I I'm not gonna jump in one thousand shares. Hell no. <laughs> so I jump in one third size at one at three three five, and I you guys, you guys and I my reasoning why I did that. So let's just go here. So you can see, right here is the previous support. It bounced here a couple times, almost right here and almost right. Here. You can clearly see around three thirty ish. Is a key level support. The next one is right here at 320. I'm not gonna buy at 320 because 330 to 320 is only ten dollar difference, fifteen dollar difference for a three hundred dollar stock. That's not much for me to buy more. I gotta be somewhere down here or something like ten or fifteen percent lower price than I bought it. Okay, just give you guys an example. When is my next buy? Well, I like to buy down here if it fall down here, you know, because that's the next key level support on the monthly chart because the weekly chart. It's really bust through all these moving averages, so there's no point out buying more right here. So I, I only enter one third. I still have two third size left to go. So I'm gonna wait and wait and wait. Okay, my last example, MED. MED is a pretty good stock. You look at the fundamental, very good stock. But I wanted to show you guys something right here, just just to give you um, an idea, right? Prior to earning, the stock rally up to earning sell right here and then this happened after earning stock oh now that's also a, you know they call it gap and go the stock gap up right continue to upside for a long time too until high rsi high stochastic then sell off prior to earning rally up right now it does the same thing earning for this stock in a couple of days the stock tends to write up already it write up like 10 to 15 bucks already not a lot, but you get the idea, right? Now, same thing right here. See how like stock gap down on earnings after earnings continues to the downside. That's why you don't buy. You don't want to buy here full size. You have to wait and wait and wait. Wait for the reversal. Wait for a couple of weeks just to see how it, how it play it out. Because some of these stock can go down for a very very long time. Maybe to next toward next quarter, and then finally, it tend to rally up just like it right here, right? Down, 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 little bull trap right here and then down 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 so it pretty much down for a whole quarter now the new earnings season well the new earnings is coming up next season the earnings is coming up for this stock like in the next couple of weeks we will see what happens yeah so in summarize there's only thing you can do play before earning hold through earning or after earning which one is for you all right see you guys the next one bye